Tudela, the second biggest city in the Spanish region of Navarra, has ended its six-month presidency over the network of Jewish quarters in Spain. Spain is home to some of the richest examples of Jewish architecture in Europe and the world, with 23 towns and cities up and down the country making up the network of Jewish quarters, or juderias, as they are known here. Over 300,000 euros of funding is available to the network of Jewish quarters each year, which is reinvested into urbanistic, architectural and cultural protection. The mayor of Tudela stated his primary objectives during the town's presidency as dynamic development of the network, which included opening membership up to towns in Portugal and creating awareness of their work outside Europe, principally in Israel and North America. The town itself has a long history of Jewish, Islamic and Christian citizenship, which goes back to the 9th century, as tourist information worker Carmen Adoif explained. Inside the walls of the city, they were living three cultures. They were living Muslims, of course, they founded the, the city. They were living Jewish in the Jewish area. And they were living also some Christians. At the beginning of the 12th century, the city was, was um, reconquered. And after that, the Muslims had to go and live outside of the walls of the city. But uh, the, the, Christians, the Christian king protected the Jewish, and the Jewish moved to live closer to the wall of the city. They were protected by the king because they had the knowledge. They were the doctors, they were the administrators. This building was once the site of one of Tudela's three synagogues. However, today it serves as a museum to remind us of the town's Jewish history and the walls, the town's most famous sons. None more so than Benjamin of Tudela, who we are told here is without doubt the most famous of the medieval travelers. Benjamin of Tudela was a rabbi from this Spanish town and the first known European to reach China. He kept an itinerary recording the impressive journey he made, documenting the situation of Jews around Europe and Asia. And especially made comic was the novel way Benjamin's hometown decided to pay their respects to a man who was way ahead of his time. La ciudad de Tudela ha ostentado la presidencia de la red de juderías estos últimos seis meses hasta diciembre, y durante esa presidencia, pues. During this presidency, different activities have been organized, from conferences about important Jewish representatives from the city, such as Abraham ibn Ezra, Benjamin of Tudela, and Yehuda Halevi. Como Yehuda Halevi, se ha hecho la presentación. There was a presentation of a comic that had the aim of reaching children too, which was a republication of a comic about Benjamin of Tudela with details of the route he made on his travels through the Jewish quarters of the Mediterranean. We put on various concerts with the same objective, plus conferences and talks about the Jewish heritage of Tudela. Throughout the last 10 to 15 years, the network of Jewish quarters in Spain has been in action. A non-profit organization founded in 1995 to work for the development, the promotion, the exposure and to make the most of the Jewish heritage that all these cities are composed of. A lot of work has been done so that the people here can get to know their Jewish past. And this is something that is growing with more and more interest from the townsfolk and people from outside to learn a lot more about the city's Jewish history. The project has been presented in America to great success, with North American Jews saying that they are anxious to know about Sepharad, the name for Spain and Portugal, many of them from Sephardic origin. As the presidency is passed on to the city of Abila, Tudela can look back at six months that have brought increased tourism and investment, and a greater understanding of its own cultural heritage, all of which could be drawn back to this door, the entrance to the original synagogue of Tudela. This is Paul Walsh for JN1 in Spain.